This is a Samsung TV. It has no power at all. The model number is UN58H5202. And uh, the way to fix this TV is to do with the power supply board. And so when you open it, you can see the power supply board. It's kind of orangey color, and you can see that there's some burnt places. It's uh, there's some damaged parts. So you could uh, get a whole new board by using eBay or whatever. But you can also just replace. Sometimes it's just components. And my so component was this one. If you have this chip. <clears throat> It seems to be shorting from right here to here. And it shouldn't do that. Okay, we'll have to zoom in more and find uh, what this chip is, but I, I'm guessing it's a type of MOSFET, either N channel or P channel. We have some other similar MOSFETs here. Pretty sure it's the same one. Let's check out this guy. And let's see, there it is. No continuity between those. It's not being It's probably. It's either that chip or some other components around this guy right here. We'll look at him. So I'm just heating up the chip. Looks like it is a bad N power MOSFET. You can see there's zero ohms, or it's about 30 ohms between the train and and the collector. So usually, it's this uh, short between right here. This one's shorted to the to the drain, so the source and the drain are, are that, and this would be the gate. So, it's a bad. This is the schematic for the chip that I'm replacing. It's a 14NM50N, or you can use an equivalent to N channel MOSFET. Because I put a lot of flux when I was removing that chip. Use some tweezers and gently put the new MOSFET in the same place and I'm just heating it up until the solder melts and it's a good connection. You could use a soldering iron as well, but it's a little bit more difficult. So after replacing that chip, we get 12.85, which is about 13. Second one is 13, which is good. 13. 13, last one's ground. So that's, that's good. Leftmost one, 
we get 150 volts. Second one, 150 volts. And four, 0.6. Next one, 0.8. And then eight volts. And 10 volts. There you can see the light came on so the power is working okay. So hopefully your repair was successful and your TV is working uh, like this TV here. I hope you enjoyed this repair video. If you liked it, please share it with others and hit that subscribe button.